in this tutorial we'll be connecting our odk collect to the to the owner server in order to upload or download the form onto the odk collect to be able to fill it so this is an overview of how the odk collect looks like without wasting much time let's just get it over <laughs> hello guys it's josh again in this tutorial we will be uploading or downloading our excel file xls file and then connect it to our odk collect to be able to fill the data or to be able to collect the data now in our previous tutorial what we did was we uploaded we, we learned how to upload our xls form onto the owner server and then check some errors successfully and also download the web form that's the survey questionnaire in a pdf form all right so without wasting much time let's just get started by connecting our xls form or connecting our owner server to the odk collect now in order to in order to achieve that what we have to do is since i opened the survey questionnaire the site survey questionnaire i'd have now you said you come to the submit data colon or the field it says using web forms if you are using web form there's the link you have to send you have to copy the link and then what send it to someone for the person to be able to fill it but in this case today we will be using the ODA collect as a scenario and then in order to do that there's the link you have to connect link it by linking it to your ODK collect it says in ODK collects main menu press the main menu button select general settings configure then configure platform settings enter the URL above and that's simply what you have to do okay so without wasting much time let's just get started get onto our phone yep all right great so we are on our phone now and then in order to start we have to what go to the menu so there's the menu general settings now we have to go to, go to server and now the type as for the type it's permanent it should be odk now what we have to do is the url at first i don't know if it's from my end or it's from the phone you wouldn't be able to type a dot let's see let me try https colon slash odk dot you can see as you can see the dot is not appearing so if you are if you are experiencing something like that all you have to do is this is just simple the default url will be open data kit dot app spot so what you have to do is you just push your cursor here nope oh yep then odk dot dot owner dot i right i then okay all right so your account the account that i was using to upload was josh boot okay then the password the password was this Password is wrong. Okay. 
all right so now we filled it right go back then what we'll do is we'll go to get blank form so get blank form now it's connecting to the server based on what based on the details you provided so now as you can see from the owner server this is what is there they have site survey questionnaire and then these were the mistakes i did these two where the uploads i did yep so let me just use and check everyone and then we are all we are only using the site survey questionnaire so we just get selected now it says site survey questionnaire with the form version and it says success okay and you can get filled the field will can be from the url you, you typed the url so what you have to do is you have to check the url because it's very sensitive because when it's wrong you get filled or when your details is wrong you get a fill yes so since it's success now we'll go to fill form so we'll fill form as you can see the site survey questionnaire is here so we click on that then it's loads form so as you can see from the questionnaire the first question was company name so company name mm, code flex then we save then we the, on this arrow the arrow and the down button something like that we click on it to view the questions yes so it says location right so we click location same I'm a summon yep that's why I stay now since I used the group begin group and end group this is how it will look like but from the web viewing from the web form it was different so this is how it will look like so it says what general facility information so we we'll click on that this is what will come up so contact name um Joshua we save and then move to the next question job title job title um, I'm a data analyst into bucket at GIS analyst yep save move to the next question then it says for the company again company is called flex Then my address, mm, address. I'm a summon. Accra. Move to the next question. There are many. There are many. So let me. Um. City telephone number. Fax order. Think I used an integer for the zip code let me see how it will look like okay okay as you can see now it has popped the keypad has popped up so meaning what you have to input there should be an integer or should be number should be a digit so zero zero two three three that's ghana our uh, zip code for ghana okay and then yep let me go back Mm, yep so let me see and it's also I use an integer for that and yes so let's just view how the multiple I think it starts from here 
yes so it says what as you can see the hints are included also you can even swipe okay so this is how you can check and check and check whatever that applies move to the next then you can check check yep let me just type some dummy things over here and after that we'll view it in the database and see how the database looks like okay let me save yeah so now back so after that after filling the form we just go to go to and you click on the go to end tab then save form and exit so after that it takes you back to the main screen so what you have to do is just click on the send finalize form tab send finalize form button so you check the survey in which you film the current survey you filled so sites survey questionnaire then send selected so now it has been uploaded onto the owner server so as you can see it's successful submission okay then we are done so now let's get back onto our owner server and then download the form great good so let me just refresh the page and see what will happen now great as you can see it says one record in an hour one contributor so let's this is how it will be viewed in the owner server postal zip code submissions we need one and some of them interesting yes so basically this is how your let's go to table and see okay so this this is what I I wanted so when you click on the table tab this is basically how your database looks like yep this is basically how your database looks like I think, yes you can so as you can see the ones i didn't feel there is now 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 over there now now and the ones I ticked and ones I filled that day. Great. So basically, this is how it will look like on the code. So if you want to download it, come to the settings tab. Or better still, you would come to the overview tab. Then what you do is you click on the prepare data export. So prepare data export. If you want to export it as a CSV file or XLS file, let's just choose XLS. So Excel file, yes. So export. Now it has been exported here. So when you want to download it, you just click on it like this. Click on the database. So open.
mind you you have to check the directory in which where you save it i mean i've done mine automatic so it will automatically go into the download stop says so file format and extension type does not match this file corrected unless uh, open anyway wait so this is the database now that's how the database looks like let me expand location and so on name so you see yeah so as you can see that's indicated that the variable I used was what title underscore one and then I, and then it's a text I was receiving a text it's under title underscore one that's the group name yes so this way as you can see title underscore two there is nothing and when come here is under title underscore four that's type equipment so these are this and then now let me just show you a relationship of these see it's one two three four five seven six eight nine now, I, now this is in the order of how i arranged it so let's just make a quick comparison over here there's a database let me open the raw excel file that i created i think this is it so another type equipment choices another types equipment yes i think this is it equip so as you can see i chose them in this order i chose them one two three four five then seven so as you can see one is computerized two is laser printers three four five then i choose seven after choosing seven i came back to what six that's the relationship okay so thanks that's the end of today's tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial and also thanks for those who inspired me to do this tutorial thank you very much and also kindly hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel then watch out for more interesting videos and tutorials all right thank you and Joshua peace I've logged out